there's one thing I hate hearing, it's programming scares me. Shiver my timbers! Shut up, man! The reality is, game programming is a necessary part of the development process. Even just having a basic understanding can go a long way in developing your skills. I'm Tyler Watts, I'm an independent game developer focused on empowering aspiring game developers everywhere. Before I started game dev though, I actually came from a background in computer science, which helped me out a lot when getting started. It's a luxury not many have when starting out though, and learning programming on top of game development can be challenging. While it can be challenging, there are a few tools that can help speed up the process and ultimately make you a better developer. One tool that can help tremendously is Unity's visual scripting. By taking the time to learn visual scripting, you'll not only better understand programming, but also become more aware of Unity and its features. Thanks to its drag and drop functionality, you can streamline the game making process and visualize your results. It's a tool that I've taught in my own classes where I teach kids game development. So put on your learning cap and jump on the computer behind me because now it's your turn. Let's go. So here we are in the Unity editor. It might look pretty familiar, but this is a clone of Space Invaders, and it was my first ever Unity project. And like every game, I got started by working on the player input. Let's take a look at the player controller to see how I did it. Now, even if you're not a programmer by trade, this may already look pretty straightforward to you. We start by every frame getting the input of the player. If the player can move, then we get the horizontal input axis, either left or right. Depending on the horizontal input, we move the player accordingly through the manipulation of something called a transform, which for those of you that don't know, determines things like position, scale, and rotation of an object in the game world. Just below, we'll see a section that handles shooting. Whenever the player presses the spacebar and other conditions are met, we spawn a bullet into the game world. Not too bad, right? Well, the complexity of implementing something can change based on the mechanic in question. Take moving the enemies as an example. At the start of the game, the enemies move to the left, and once they reach the end of the screen, move down, and then the other direction, until the enemies reach the bottom of the screen, and win the game. Do you already see how things are starting to get a little more complex? Welcome to game development. As this complexity continues to increase, you're going to notice some problems if you're new to programming. For one, you're going to be lost in what I call the Unity sauce. Unity has such a dense library of functions and features through traditional coding and may be difficult to find them. Secondly, your code is going to be hard to visualize. And lastly, you're going to have a lack of organization. Without the proper programming training, it's likely you're going to have what's called spaghetti code and a lack of organization in your code base. Luckily, these are all problems that visual scripting can fix. To see just what I mean, let's compare the same mechanics that I just showed you in visual scripting. So here we are. Pretty much the same project, although it is a bit incomplete. It's worth noting the project I'm using here utilizes the predecessor to Unity Visual Scripting known as Bolt. Not much is different between the two. You'll notice I'm using Unity 2020 right now. Version 2021 and beyond should come with Visual Scripting already installed, since that's when the Unity acquired the package, so keep that in mind. To get started, we'll add a script machine, or in my case, a flow machine. Next, we need to assign logic to it. To do that, you're going to click the new button. After navigating to the location you want to place it in, and giving it a name, you'll see that it is assigned to the graph. Let's edit it and see what's going on. This is what your graph should look like. You'll see that it's for the most part blank. However, we're given two events, start, which is called when the graph first runs, and update, which happens every frame. Unity Visual Scripting uses a node-based system to simulate logic. Each node does something different, and you can connect nodes to chain off one another to create a flow of logic. To create a node like the ones you see here, you can right click and select one of the options provided to you. This takes care of the first problem. Through visual scripting, your options are made immediately clear to you. They're organized and categorized too. giving you less of a reason to sift through the Unity docs. As you can see, I've already went ahead and created my player controller. Now, it's looking like a mess right now, so let's zoom in on the area of interest. To do that, I'm going to pan, holding the middle mouse button, and zooming in with the scroll wheel. Here we are, our movement. You can already see just how clean this is by comparison. Here, our start and end points are made perfectly clear. We start with every frame and update, retrieving the horizontal input from the player multiplying the direction 
by the speed, and then setting that to a vector in the x direction, so left and right. We then finish by telling the physics component that we've assigned to make the player's velocity the given value. This acts as a great visual reference for our game. In fact, if we press play, you'll see that our values update in real time. If we go down to the shooting section, you'll see every time we press the spacebar, we now go through the rest of the logic. So that still leaves us with one more thing, making our code organized. This is a very simple thing to do in visual scripting. Using control and dragging our mouse, we can contain nodes within what we call groups. We can even name them. For this one, I'll name it movement. We can also move groups around. So let's take a second to clean this all up. And there we go, much better. This is just the beginning of what you can do with visual scripting. It's a powerful tool that visualizes the code making process while also helping you build strong programming foundations. If you enjoyed this new format of content, I'd highly suggest you leave a comment down below letting me know. That being said, I know I haven't posted much content the past month. However, it's given me time to come up with plenty of ideas and I'm so excited to share them with you. So if you wanna see what's coming up next, be sure to like, share, and subscribe down below. You can also check out my current indie project, Hookscrap. It's a 2D top-down space shooter roguelike with an emphasis on fast fluid combat. At this point, our release is just a month away, so be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link right here at the top. You can also go ahead and watch the next video, which I'll leave right here. And until then, dev on.